Hello there, so something fishy is going on. There's a website called Down Detector, and it shows you when websites go down. And we know a lot of YouTube's been out for a while. We know a lot of things have been out. YouTube said it was out at 5.41 in the morning on 11.12. Um, yeah, which I guess it's the latest in their history. They don't show their complete history, and I don't know why. 7.35 was... Eastern time was when most things went out last night. And thankfully, I caught a video, or I captured a video, that shows all that. So while we talk about this, I'm just going to let this play a little bit. Um, oh, not there. Let's go back here. So you can look at the times and dates for yourself while it plays. The uh, There are speculations out there. Some people wonder, there's YouTube at 7.14 p.m., Google Play, and we're talking heavy hitters, T-Mobile, AT&T, Cox, Discord, Roku, Cloudflare, Google Drive. So they all went down. And there's speculation that they released an AI, which is kind of creepy and kind of who knows. But if they did release an AI, then we're going to see the effects pretty soon. So this part, I'm going to go through and click on some companies and show you what times they went down. So you can just watch that stuff in the background. But... It's very possible the internet kill switch was activated for a moment to see what happened. Um, Obama's crew, crew put in that with the United Nations. They sold all the DNS to the United Nations. I think it's just part of Agenda 21. I don't think it's AI got released, um, but people are going to talk about that. And I suppose we'll see as we go on. But you can see 5 p.m. Eastern Time, everybody's going down at the same time. So, for my money, I'd wager they were making sure they had control over the internet, and that's a problem. So, if we're going to continue to use these platforms and communicate with each other, this is probably going to happen moving forward. You know it's definitely going to happen should there be unrest in your country, specifically the U.S., European Union, Western nations. Let's say there's unrest and we all need to communicate with each other. They'll absolutely shut this off. So I'm not chalking it up to an AI. I um, have seen no evidence of that yet. And if I do find evidence, <clears throat> pardon me, if I do find evidence of that, I'll absolutely share it. But I would just guess that as the COVID unfolds, and most people, not most people, a lot of people see through that, and the election in the U.S. unfolds, and a lot of people see through that, I'd say those money masters, some call them the money monsters, the central banks, the IMF, the World Bank, the WHO, United Nations, Agenda 21, I'd say they were probably just making sure, and I would have double-checked if I were pulling a nefarious thing and I was going to bring down the nations or nations or people, I'd make darn sure I could do it before I tried. So that's kind of where I'm at on this. I'd like to hear your comments. I'm going to save a copy of this and repost it on the main channel once they let me out of jail, which I think is Friday now. It was supposed to be Thursday. So you won't see a video from me over there today, but you probably will tomorrow. So there's even Edison. That's an electric company. Two o'clock, their stuff went down. So I think things might be getting a little spooky. I don't know. We'll still make it through. We'll, we'll stick together with each other. We'll try to offline communicate as best we can. Um... If you guys want to swap phone numbers with each other, I highly recommend it. If you can offer something, if you just want to text to text, and I'm not giving you my number, but <laughs> if you want to call and there's something going on, absolutely, we should talk about it. So keep in mind there'll be more outages most likely, but I don't know what else to say other than be good, leave your comments. I always appreciate hearing from you, and I hope you everybody's well.